Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me here. Uh, my name is Zoran Olic and I'm here to talk to you uh, about open source software uh, for provisioning, deployment and uh, migration that we called open uh, one love. Um, but first of all, uh, who am I? Um, in simple, I am IT guy and um, I'm working on a building and maintaining IT infrastructure, uh, automation of building, deployment, and provisioning. And uh, my language of choice when it comes to coding is a Python. Mm. So, what I want to do today is to first see uh, what are the challenges uh, with using cloud infrastructure uh, for your project and uh, to see what uh, solution we currently have available and um, then to see what are ideas uh, with uh, one low project and how it can help you. Okay, so as mentioned first, uh, current solutions, oh, uh, current challenges <laughs> Uh, for using cloud solutions uh, are presented on this screen. It's by uh, right scale and as we can see there is uh, multiple areas of challenges such as uh, security and uh, uh, managing cloud spend, uh, lack of resources and expertise. Uh, governance control or compliance uh, managing multiple clouds etc and the uh, idea with one love is to solve some of these challenges um, and here is how it looks when you manage your infrastructure in the cloud yeah. uh, so how do we solve those challenges uh, first to look at available solutions. Uh, if we want to solve this with, with current solutions, we can separate the, uh, all the tools in the two groups. Uh, on, on one side we have um, configuration management tools and uh, on the other side we have orchestration management tools. Um, Configuration management tools uh, are designed to install, manage, and uh, configure uh, current instances that you already have. And uh, you can install packages, uh, start services, or um, install scripts, manage configurations. And uh, they do heavy lifting um, uh, instead of you. So it's um, everything done automatically and uh, examples for, for these kind of tools are um, Ansible, Chef, Puppet, SaltStacks and um, in the other group uh, we have uh, orchestration tools and they are designed to provide the servers uh, to, to provision the servers uh, and uh, to leave the configuration uh, job to, to the other tools. And um, orchestration tools take care of, of uh, provisioning all the, the servers uh, for your infrastructure that you, that you need. Um, examples for, for, um, for those tools are Terraform and uh, CloudFormation. And um, these two groups are um, not uh, mutually exclusive and uh, uh, most of configuration management tools uh, uh, have some feature of orchestration tools and also most of the orchestration tools have some features of configuration management tools. And now we come to OneLove. Um, our goal with OneLove is to combine um, Ansible with uh, orchestration compatibilities and uh, 
to allow easy building and managing uh, uh, your infrastructure in the cloud. So Ansible and plus orchestration is uh, one love. Well, first, let's take a look why we choose Ansible. Uh, and um, if you're in the IT industry, you probably already heard about uh, Ansible. Uh, it's uh, one of the best um, uh, automation tool available, and uh, that's an open source software solution um, for um, provisioning, configuration, and uh, deployment. Um, it includes its own language to describe the state of your uh, infrastructure. Uh, unique thing about um, Ansible is uh, that it's agentless and uh, that means that it will temporarily connect to, to your um, servers uh, via SSH or PowerShell and manage your infrastructure. Um, in simple words, Ansible is a very powerful tool uh, that can help you to to uh, configure management and uh, deployment of your infrastructure and yet uh, very simple to use um, and it's written in python uh, first of all uh, one love is uh, more the the idea than the, the finished product and uh, we have currently reached the version 0 0.0.1, uh, so keep that in mind during this presentation. Um, OneLove is a web-based application designed to, to manage uh, your hosts, and the uh, idea is to expand functionalities of Ansible with current uh, list that we have here. Um, it will contain a web-based uh, user interface with the dashboard, um, a real-time status for uh, your running job on top of the Ansible, uh, REST API to manage your infrastructure, and uh, a history of all the tasks executed. Uh, it will enable your clustering, uh, it will contain a uh, dynamic inventory for your cloud infrastructure and it will support uh, multiple cloud providers. Uh, on this slide, uh, we have the flow of uh, OneLove software and um, on the, the right side of the slide uh, you have services and uh, services is contained of multiple applications uh, and um, uh, on the top you have a cluster and in that cluster um, uh, you have uh, all your services and applications that you want to run um, at the bottom uh, are your providers, uh, for example, Amazon Web Services or DigitalOcean. And um, when you have defined all your services and applications and uh, put them in the cluster, OneLove will provision and deploy uh, everything to your hosts on the providers. Uh, so in short, clusters uh, are set of, of services and applications and the uh, cluster will provision and deploy uh, everything to your infrastructure. Um, this is a simplified overview of the components uh, for uh, OneLove and um, as you can see, user interact with, with uh, front-end that um, then uh, with the help of back-end uh, save all the states of your infrastructure in the database 
and um, uh, provisioning and uh, deployment will be run in the background uh, to to your infrastructure. Uh, it's that simple. <laughs> um, this is uh, how one low dashboard currently looks like, and um, unfortunately there is not too much to see now, and uh, we are not even uh, close to what we will want to be, so s there is still s still um, a lot of work to do. Uh, for now, um, you will be able to, to log in and uh, manage your clusters, providers, services and provisioning and uh, all of the other things will be added in the future um, um, the back end is the part that we put uh, much more effort uh, up to this point and um, uh, back end is using a flask and flask rest plus framework um, and on this picture, I just put a uh, screenshot of Sveger uh, that's running on top of the uh, OneLow project. Mm -hmm. um, in order to run uh, OneLow on your own, um, this is the, the system requirements, and we did our best effort from the beginning to to enable one love to run on as many different environments as possible and uh, you will need a unix like operating system such as linux or, or bsd we also support containers so you can run it in the docker and um, cbsd jail reggae um, you will need python of course uh, mongo database redis and um, of course you need some modern web browser as uh, google chrome or or firefox um, <coughs> regarding the future steps uh, uh, of the things that we would like to include in in one love um, this is our plan and uh, we would like to inv investigate ansible runner and integrate it in in one love uh, to implement ability to to download uh, ansible roles from from ansible galaxy and uh, implement backend support for amazon web services and uh, digital ocean providers api to to be able to control all the aspects of of your cloud infrastructure um, also, on the front end, we want to migrate uh, to React in Mobix, and uh, we also have plan to include support uh, to run OneLove using Vagrant. Um, like every open source project, uh, it is not possible without its contributors, so uh, I would like to thank all contributors of one love up to this point and um, that <coughs> that lead us to to you and uh, my main goal with this presentation and uh, we need uh, help to make uh, one love the software we want it to become one day and uh, if you want to get involved in open source project and uh, learn new things or think that you can help us uh, um, in any area uh, uh, feel free to contact us and to join us uh, you can help of course with back end or front end but i'm sure that there are also a lot of other things that can improve our project and um, here you have a, a link uh, to the uh, our project on, on GitHub, where you can find more information uh, about it, and um, of course join. Uh, and that brings me to the end of presentation. So, any questions? Whatever, Lada.
Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, so I was wondering, uh, is it possible to? Uh, do you plan to use your uh, your project for building uh, infrastructure from uh, beginning, or you can import your current infrastructure? Um, probably you will not be able to do that for a long time. Uh, the uh, idea is to you can import all your servers, but uh, all the configuration all, all and all, ad, all other things uh, you will need to have in your code. Well, partially, I'm one of the developers, so um, partially you already have support for uh, uh, current infrastructure because Ansible, nice thing about Ansible is that it's how it's called, idempotent, so you can run the same thing on the server multiple times and you always get the same result. So that, getting, uh, that being said, you probably can manage your uh, existing infrastructure, just depends if, the, uh, if you have some fancy API like uh, DigitalOcean for uh, starting and stopping your uh, VMs, then probably you need to add some code for it. Hi, I'm not sure I understood the right relation between OneLove and Ansible. So Ansible, well, at least the way I see it, is intended to uh, be a description of your infrastructure, be version controlled, uh, you run it all the time, whenever you make a change, etc. Uh, do you expect uh, somebody to maintain Ansible scripts and then push them to OneLove server, or do you have versioning on your own, and uh, what's the exact relation here? Uh, the idea is to uh, uh, push all your uh, roles to Ansible Galaxy or in your Git repository. That's the idea. So the project will download that. That's the idea. Okay. So thank you. <laughs>